headed to the mountains for the night. Let's grab some groceries first. everything I need. Here we go. So we're off the pavement on the dirt road. Get pretty close to the site that I've planned out. I'll let you guys know when I get there. I think we're here. Got a beautiful view out there. That's the spot. Let's pull in and see what it looks like. Nice big spot with some trees, got a nice fire pit. This'll do, this'll do just fine. Got the car parked, start setting up camp. Got a good start to this beautiful evening. Got a fire going. It's starting to cool down a bit, so that's just what we needed. Burning pretty good now. Let's get some dinner going. It's pretty late, about 8 p.m., so let's get cooking. Tonight for dinner, I'm making some cauliflower tacos. They're cheap, and they come together pretty quick. They taste pretty good for being basically just cauliflower. Before I get started, I'll give those of you who are new here a quick little tour of the setup. So here it is. We have two drawers. That one's the general storage drawer. That one's the cooking drawer. As you can see, the front of the drawers fold down to create more work area. And then also this slide out on the end creates more countertop space. In this drawer, I keep spices in the front as well as condiments and stuff like that. And then just fabric storage bins with more food or any other gear I may need for camping. This one, I have my stove and my cooking tools. Above that is my platform. That's where I spread out my bed when I'm ready to sleep. And then this side is for my fridge. You can keep pretty much all I need for a couple days in there. And it keeps it nice and cold. And I don't have to worry about ice or anything like that. Over here on the side, this is the water system I have. It's a hose. And it runs back to this water tank. And there's a battery on there, right there. And as you can see, I use this luggage scale. It basically works as a water level indicator. With this switch, I have running water. And this will last a while, it's a pretty slow stream, so that tank being full will last me three or four days. Uh, that's including like drinking water and washing dishes. But that's pretty much it. I'll get all the stuff out of the fridge that I need for this meal. I think I've got pretty much everything laid out. But as you can see, there's really not that many basic ingredients. I usually start by breaking up my cauliflower a bit, just into more manageable chunks, then I can kind of cut it up from here. For these tacos, I like pieces about this size. 
about the size of a piece of chicken if you were to have that in the taco. So I'll just do half a head of cauliflower because it's just me. Got the cauliflower cut up. Let's move on to the jalapeno. For this, this is actually going to go in a sauce that will go with some charred corn. Um, some people might call it a lote, but this is not really quite that. It's kind of a shortcut version of that. So for this, I'm just going to do a pretty small dice, as I don't want the heat to just overpower everything. So do a quick julienne. I'll dice it real quick. It's a nice small dice. It'll blend well with everything else, and you won't just get a bite of pure jalapeno. All right, just diced up half the jalapeno. Should be more than enough. Now let's do the cilantro. For this, I use my knife. Don't need the whole bunch, so I'm just gonna kinda cut off some around the edge. And that'll kinda keep the whole bunch intact so that when I'm ready to put it back in the fridge, it doesn't just make a mess of it. And we'll kinda pack this together. We'll give it a quick chop. real quick. I'll peel it. And this is just going to be kind of a topping. I'm not going to cook it in with anything. So for this, I'm not going to use all of it, so I'm just going to kind of slice maybe halfway through. I'll just do a quick dice. It's really rough, but it'll do just fine for what we want. Now for the limes, one of them is gonna be just used for juice, for the sauce that goes with the corn. So I'm actually gonna roll it on the cutting board a little bit, kind of loosen up the structure, and allow for more juice to be squeezed out of it without working so hard. That one will just go in half. So for this, I'll just cut it in quick slices. It's not the easiest, but it gets the job done. Should be good enough. I'll pull this back. So I'm gonna use my pour over coffee maker to drain off the corn water. I'm actually gonna make the sauce really quick. So it'll be basically mayo. Good amount of lime juice. Grab some chili powder right there. We'll need some salt. A good amount of chili powder. Hefty pinch of salt. And we'll toss in a good amount of that jalapeno we cut up earlier and a hefty amount of cilantro. taste yeah got everything together got our sauce made to toss with the corn that's draining got a cauliflower red onion cilantro our limes got our little pack of flour tortillas would go with corn but this is what i had on hand so let's get the stove rolling and we'll start cooking this cauliflower for this, I'm going to use my cast iron. It'll get nice and hot. It'll get some good color on the corn and the cauliflower. I changed my mind. I'm going to do cauliflower first. And then I figured it's not as important that the corn is hot compared to when the cauliflower is hot while plating. So you have the corn in there. It's a nice hot pan. Wait for it to get a bit of char on it, and then we'll stir it. Corn has some decent color. Toss it with the sauce. And we're going on the cauliflower. It's starting to rain a bit. Get the cauliflower in there. All 
right, let the cauliflower steam for a second. Now I got it just cooking in a little bit of oil, try to get a little bit of color on it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna season it with some salt. I already put a bit on, so there's just a touch more. Got some garlic powder. Some chili powder. And we'll have some black pepper as well. I think we're pretty much ready to assemble. Got our toppings, cilantro, some lightning, red onion, our lime, our cauliflower cooked, a little bit of color on that. We have our corn topping. Real quick, I'm gonna toast some tortillas. Let's assemble. Our tortillas. Cauliflower. Our corn. Good amount of that. That'll pretty much carry this. Do our cilantro. Red onion. And a quick squeeze of lime. So there it is. Got our cauliflower and corn tacos. I was gonna eat outside next to the fire, but the rain's starting to come down a bit harder. And also, I'm next to some of the tallest trees around. If you're in a thunderstorm, that probably isn't the smartest idea. So I'm going to hop in the car real quick and enjoy these in there. All right, we're in the car. Got Arizona. Let's give these a go. They're full. Pretty solid. Nice and juicy that corn sauce. Good bite from the cauliflower. It's a pretty good taco. All right, those are awesome. Let's hop outside into the rainy weather. It's not coming down too bad. I'm not feeling much of it under these trees. The fire's still going strong. That'll do for tonight. Just have a few dishes to wash in the morning. So I'll just close this up. I'll be able to enjoy the fire for a second and we'll hop inside to maybe watch a movie and read a book. We'll see. Never done this before. We're gonna give it a go though. We got some butter, some popcorn kernels, a little bit of salt. I'll top it off with this piece of foil. Here goes nothing. There's a single kernel. Wow. All right, here's try number two. Drop it right on. Hear it bubbling already. I wish you could have witnessed the great success I had giving it my second shot on cooking popcorn over the fire. But unfortunately, my phone died, so you missed it. Here's the result. Amazing. I'll have to give it another try sometime. Maybe a cast iron next. Um, unfortunately, I'm all out of popcorn kernels. So I guess tune in next time if you want to possibly learn how to cook popcorn over a fire.
Rain's starting to come down again, so I hopped in the car. But meanwhile, I'm going to watch a movie. Um, enjoy being dry in here. And enjoy my hot Cheetos in place of my toasted popcorn. Movie's over. I'm going to head to bed. Be curious what my bed setup looks like. Here it is. As you can see, it's a pretty decent size. That's the platform all folded out. Brush my teeth first, then I'll call it a night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I honestly didn't sleep great last night. I'm ready to get the day started. Um, first thing I gotta do is take care of these dishes. And I'll start making breakfast. Got all the dishes washed and put away. Go we'll some water for some coffee right now. Start putting together some pancake mix. My pancake mix done. Dropping some breakfast sausage. What we got going on pancakes? Cut an orange really quick as well. Let's see. That was a pretty solid breakfast. Time to head out. See you next time.